begin with L.A. Did they did they get what they wanted when it comes to players and money? Yeah, Matt. So I think that at the beginning of this offseason, the Dodgers made a clear decision, which is they wanted to try to affect their roster at the very top, which is why they bid $300 million for Garrett Cole and finished second to the Yankees. Uh, they continued their pursuit, uh, and obviously no one would think of Mookie Betts as a concession prize. He's just a prize. He helps the team on offense, defense, base paths, uh, at the ticket window, uh, so bringing excitement to your group. So th they, they did that. And at the same time, because they made separate trades, or one that included this trade, by trading Kenta Maeda to Minnesota uh, and uh, Peterson, Jock Peterson to the Angels, plus we still have to find out how much Boston is paying of the price contract. It is possible that the Dodgers are still close to or maybe even under the $208 million first luxury tax threshold especially if the Red Sox took on $15 million or more per year of price. Uh, right, and he's owed almost $100 million. But, Joel, L.A. is taking a really big chance here because um, Mookie Betts can walk after the year. Um, is it worth it? Did they give up too much? So I would say that in the words of the great philosopher Theo Epstein, <laughs> if not now, when, right, is – when he gave up Labor Torres for Araldus Chapman, a relief pitcher for a couple of months, the Red Sox, I mean, the Cubs obviously hadn't won since the early 1900s. It had been over 100 years, and he decided to do this. It must feel like 100 years, Maddie, in Los Angeles. They haven't won since 1988. They've spent billions going after it. They've won seven straight division titles. You know, one of their big problems in the postseason has been offense, contact. Mookie Betts, by the way, has not been great in the postseason, but he is great. He is a pure, you know, he's a guy who can hit for power, but he ha he's a good contact guy. He makes an already strong defense even better. I, I mean, I just think of it like this as I was sitting and reflecting a little, Maddie. The 103 win Yankees added Garrett Cole and yeah. didn't really subtract big stuff from their roster. The 106 win Dodgers added Mookie Betts without uh, uh, the, the, uh, moving from big stuff on their roster. The Astros, who were the AL champs last year, obviously have their own problems, including that they don't have Cole. The Nationals lost Rendon. I mean, it feels like probably the Fox Network's dream is the chalk right now, right? right. It's the Yankees and the Dodgers, and we'll see how that plays out over the next seven or eight months.